Jackrabbit's Time Clock feature is designed to assist with managing employee hours for payroll processing and is a great time saver. Here is how to get started. Go to Staff Portal under Staff on the menu bar and select Portal Settings. In the Features section, the checkbox for Time Clock allows the time clock to be available when the Staff Portal is launched from within Jackrabbit. If you would like to allow your staff to record their time by using a link on your website or with a URL link they can bookmark, set Allow Remote Time Clock to Yes. Click the Copy Portal Link button to copy the URL link. Next, open each active staff record and review the settings related to the time clock. On the Summary tab, check each staff record has a valid email address. If you'll be using our payroll partner, Express Payroll, to process payroll, be sure each staff record has a staff ID entered, and set the salaried field to Yes for any staff member who is not paid on an hourly basis. If the staff member is not an instructor assigned to classes, set the instructor field to No. This will omit the actual versus scheduled hours comparison for the staff member on the approved slash unapproved time page. Each staff member has settings for how they enter time in the staff portal. You can set these settings for multiple staff at once by going to Staff, Staff Portal, Edit All Staff Settings. On the Portal Settings tab in the My Time Card tab section, you may select a time entry method for the staff member. With the Clock In slash Clock Out method, staff will click a button in the staff portal to record their time. You can give staff a choice of using the button or manually typing their time in and out with the Manual In slash Out method. When set to the Total Hours Time Entry method, staff enter their total hours worked for the day or department. If you'll be using departments, you can assign a default department to each staff member. And if their time entry method is set to clock in slash clock out, you can set if they can split time between departments. On the Compensation tab, you may enter staff pay rates for the staff member if you wish. Jackrabbit will use the pay rates to estimate gross wages on the Staff Portal Time Report. Compensation data is very sensitive, and Jackrabbit offers the ability to hide the Compensation tab by unchecking the user permissions for compensation for each user ID. There are two types of pay types in Jackrabbit. The base hourly rate is the default. Add a department rate if a staff member has more than one rate of pay. If they have multiple pay rates, set their base hourly rate to the rate of pay they are paid most frequently. The date from and through dates can be used to enter a new base hourly rate or department rate. Be sure there is only one for each type that is currently in effect. Refer to our Help Center for more information on the time clock, including steps for the manager's use of the time clock.